Michelle Obama is calling for national unity while taking a swipe at millions of Trump voters on social media. The former first lady posted comments in a Twitter thread shortly after the media declared Biden the president-elect over the weekend. Just to be clear, Newsmax has not called the election. Uh, still legal process is going on, so ballots are being counted as well, and there's a reason for that. Joining us now to discuss is Bobby Everly, the president and CEO of GOPUSA.com and host of the 13-Minute News Hour. Amanda Mackey, Republican strategist and attorney. Good to see both of you here. Uh, Thank you. Amanda, I'll start with you on this. I'm going to just show a couple of things from the First Lady. These are some of the remarks uh, that she called for the nation to come together by implying Trump supporters are pro-lies, pro-hate, pro-chaos, and pro-division, as you see in the tweet highlighted for you. She also posted comments ripping the president by lauding the coming return of dignity, competence, and heart to the Oval Office. Amanda Mackey, your thoughts on that? You know, I think uh, it's just they, they show their intolerance, and that's really what it is. Even when 70 million-plus people in the United States voted for President Trump, rejected Joe Biden rejected uh, socialism, rejected all those things. They, they, you know, she says when they go low, we go high. She just went low. And I think that that is showing your intolerance, showing that you can't accept other people's views. And, you know, the Republicans just don't do this, but the Democrats do. And they're good at it. Bobby, I wanna, I, I'd love to get your thoughts on it, too, that part where she yeah. called, Michelle Obama says that, you know, basically Trump supporters are pro-lies, pro-hate, pro-chaos, and pro-division. I wonder what goes through your mind in, in, in remembering everything that happened over this pandemic, the riots, the looting. Yeah, what goes through my mind is that these Democrats have no shame, that they will say and do anything, absolutely anything, to get elected or to advance their cause. And then when they're done... Then they go back and they say, hey, let's all come together. But chaos and division and hate, look at what happened this summer. It's outrageous. And it was all of the Democrats, Black Lives Matter, Antifa, they're the ones doing it. And what a call for unity. We're going to call for unity by blasting this group of people, 70 million plus supporters of President Trump. We're just going to blast them. But it's it's not just her. It's, it's everyone. Joe Biden used Charlottesville in ads and in-person speeches when we know that that was a bogus twisting of wording. Yet they do it to show that this president is racist and he divides and all of this stuff. And now she wants us to come together while AOC is putting enemies lists together and Michelle Obama is blasting the people that she says should unite. And all it means is fall in line. When they say unite, they mean fall in line. Interesting. Um, but what about this moment? CNN commentator Van Jones getting emotional after the media called the election for Biden. Watch. For a whole lot of people. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know. And you're going to the store and, and people who have been afraid to show their racism are getting nastier and nastier to you. And you're worried about your kids and you're worried about your sister. And can she just go to Walmart and, and get back into the, her car without somebody saying something to her? Uh, again, Newsmax has not called the election, just to be clear. But that was a clip there from CNN. Uh, I'll go back to Amanda on this one. What is Jones saying here? Is he making any sense to you? What do you make of that moment on television? You know, I mean, the, the crocodile tears shouldn't, you know, sway anyone. Look at the years of blight and look at the years of what has happened in Democratic cities throughout the country. I've never seen him shed a tear over, you know, the tragedy of these Democratic cities run by Democrats for decades and what they've done and how they've suppressed people and not allowed people to succeed. Um, he's never shed a tear over that, yet he's being emotional over things that I, I don't know what Donald Trump had anything to do with what he's saying. He talks, he talks about immigrants when he went off on that, um, you know, that tirade. He talks about, you know, immigrants and, you know, now they're going to be safe. I'm an immigrant. 52% of Cubans voted for President Trump. Uh, President Trump did extremely well in South Florida with immigrant populations from countries like Nicaragua, Cuba, Venezuela. Um, I, I think that they, they live in their own twisted reality. And I don't think that anything that he said has any credibility. 
Bobby Eberle, you know, one of the things that stands out to, to um, uh, Amanda's point, uh, because Van Jones does point out the, the tweets, that was one of the only specifics he could find about the president that was so upsetting were the tweets. <laughs> right, right. It was the tweets, the tweets, nothing but the tweets. And the thing is, it's like Amanda said, I mean, he could have been given this speech and crying for the gains that President Trump actually made, because there are minorities now that had hope. They went out and they voted for President Trump, not Joe Biden. The biggest gains in 60 years in non-white percentage for President Trump. And this guy is supposed to be the racist. He's supposed to be sowing division and hate and chaos. Yet Hispanics and blacks, even LGBTQ percentage went up in this election for President Trump. That shows you right there that they see the gains in this country. And a lot of them saw through this charade that the Democrats play trying to divide people in interest groups so that they can mount a coalition just to win and then forget about them for the rest of the time. Okay, friends, thanks so much for watching. And before you go, please hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you'll be notified. And here's a special video just for you so you can watch even more of the 13 minute news hour. And don't forget to check out GOPUSA.com for the best in conservative news and commentary. We'll see you next time.